Good morning, everybody. It is Matt, a.k.a. The Lumberjack Landlord. Super excited to share this awesome news with you. So without further ado, I will turn it over to Mike Zuber. Man, uh, this is a day that I didn't know would come, right? There was something we did starting June 1st of last year, thanks to a motivation from a guy named Ty, uh, who I'll talk to in about an hour. Uh, he challenged me, right? One rental at a time, YouTube channel, books, all this stuff clearly helping people. But at the time, I can only point at 187 people who took advantage and got a deal. And that was over an 18 month period. So I'm sitting there at the end of May, heading into June going, I give you hours of my day, seven days a week. I got to do better than that, or, or I should give up and do something else. So I created a goal and you've seen it behind a lot of my videos of trying to get 500 in a year, not 18 months, a year. And this morning, you were on my daily financial news, and you saw that we, find, we got to 496. That's a horrible writing, 496. And lo and behold, after the show was over, you sent me an email with four property addresses that you closed in December and January. I did. And yesterday. Four, and yeah, oh, the fourth yeah. one was yesterday. Fourth one was yesterday. Yeah. So uh, last time I checked, 496 plus four gets us to the magic 500. It does. We are now done, done at 500. So <clears throat> I'm, um, it, it feels good. Now I have to dye my hair purple. <laughs> uh, so thank you for that. Uh, also, we had got, we got, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna probably put it out to the audience. We're gonna see who wants to contribute uh, to the food bank. So we're gonna probably cut that check on April 1st. I'm going to personally put up five grand, which yep. 500, five grand. Um, you're going to put up a little bit. Dan's going to put up a little bit. Um, but we'll see who else wants to contribute. And um, actually, I'm going to put it out there. My hope is we get to 10 grand. I hope, I hope we end up doing, we can I'm, get. Gonna, I'm going to do half of it. <clears throat> we can get there. And um, it's just so cool. So a couple of things. Enjoy the moment. I'm going to write a letter to the food bank, kind of talking about what we did as a community. Uh, hopefully include a big check. And uh, the other thing I want to say is we're not done. This is goal milestone one mm -hmm. of a multi-step journey. I'm going to keep going, right? We're going to go until May 31st and see where we go. Let's, you know, I bought extra, right? I bought extra of these. I got this pile and another one just like it. I bought 1500 because I have confidence in the community. So we're going to keep mailing these out until the end of May. And then we're going to have another goal. My lifetime goal is 1 million. We're at 500. I have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. I do. I'm, I'm convinced that I personally can get 10,000. 10,000 is not 1 million. The only way we get the extra 990,000 is that people watching this share, subscribe, recommend, post, We've got to get this. It's got to go viral. It's hard to go viral in a world when you're positive and you're talking about doing the work and sacrifice in a 10 year journey to make work optional. I would do a lot more if I followed Reventure Consulting and created nonsense about ice cream and murders and <laughs> talked about how correlation and causation are not a thing. That's not who I am. I want to change people's lives for the better. I don't want to scare people uh, and make you put your head in the ground. And uh, I want to thank you for being a huge part of this. Of you will always be known as the guy who got number 500. Um, yeah, this is a good day. Today is a good day. It is. So I remember when you first brought me the idea and I was like, you're going to do what? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, well, yeah, like I'm doing my, you know, doing the weekly tracking spreadsheet and things like that. And I was like, 500, you just did 187 in 18 months, 500 in a year. Yeah. I was like, well, I mean, sounds good. Let's do this thing. Yeah, let's go. Like, all right. I don't, I like, don't need to, I like quotas. <laughs> yeah, don't need to convince me. I'll sign up for an unrealistic quota. My bosses are used to seeing that for decades. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did a million. Sure, I could do 10. Yeah, why yeah, not? Exactly. And you're cutting my territory in half? Sounds awesome. <laughs> let's do it, everybody. And taking a product away. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, sure. So no, I'm super thrilled that you got to be a part of it. And, and it's been an awesome journey and experience with so many, uh, so many people seeing the light bulb come on. 
you know, so many people getting their first, their second, their third. Like there's people buying portfolios now in your core. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, show off. Like, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Like people it's, and it's awesome because we know how it changes people's families' trajectories, right? Yeah. And yeah, the other thing that I really want people to hear here, these are 500 closed deals. I want you to hear the following. I want to congratulate the people that wrote a great offer, got countered and didn't do the deal. Yes. That's what I teach. We are only doing good or great deals. And if you don't know what that is, stop being cheap, buy the $320 course and do the work. Just do the work. Yep. Um, I, I, the more, I, I think there are thousands of people doing the work every day because of what we do with one rental at a time. Yes. And uh, it's growing. It's, it's not growing nearly as fast as I want because I think there's the impact there. But there will be some point where there's a fulcrum or a whatever, and it takes off. And I'm going to keep showing up every day. We're going to keep showing up twice a week, you and I. And it's, um, God, today's a good day. Today's it's good. awesome. It's awesome. So deal number 500, just so you know what deal number 500. Yeah. Was. Yeah, please. <clears throat> it almost didn't happen. <laughs> It almost, it would have been somebody else, but it yeah. almost didn't happen for me. So it was, this was a six unit deal that my broker brought to me. Okay. And he said, a guy in my office just got called from one of his investors and says he wants to get rid of these three buildings. Okay. Calls me up, says, this is the number. He says, it's 550. And I was like, what's wrong with it? Yeah. Is it, does it have like nuclear sludge underneath it? And he goes, he goes, no, it's 550. And it's in an, it's, and when I saw the address, this is a property that I've driven past for five years that I've wanted for five years. Nice. Wanted this property. Then he calls me back and he goes, actually, he gave me the wrong number. It's 600. I was like, come on. Come on, man. I was like, what? how does that happen? What do you mean? You didn't know the price. Oops. Oh yeah. So I was like, I was like, all right. So we do it back and forth. It's commercial. So the appraisal time is nuts. Oh yeah. The appraisal really cost is nuts. nuts. It's $4,300 for the appraisal and it's a six week turnaround. Yeah. It's bad. The appraisers are so backed up that they had to go out of market to bring this guy to do it. Uh, that's risky. Uh-huh. It was risky. I get a call from him saying, I can't get there. I'm like, what do you mean you can't get there? He goes, 560. I was like, it's, he's like, I'm not getting anywhere near 600. It's mm-hmm. not going to get there. Okay. And he said, and I said, well, all due respect, you haven't asked me rents or anything. So right. this is one of those things where we talk about when we're talking about with these vendors and we talk about with these appraisers, they don't know what they don't know. Mm-hmm. He's out of market. He doesn't know what the rents are. He's, he's like, well, the current rents only make it worth this. Right. I understand, but they're well under market. Yeah. He goes, I'm going to need some proof of that. I was like, would you, how many leases would you like? Yeah. I own a building four buildings away from this one. And I own another building, eight buildings away from this one. Mm-hmm. I had all the facts. Right. So this deal almost didn't happen because I agree with you. I think the toughest thing to do is to walk away from a deal. But this deal almost didn't happen because the appraiser was going to blow it up because he didn't see the value there until I spent an hour on the phone with him and shared with him a ton of data. And then he was like, all right, it's worth six. There you go. So there's a couple of things in there, right? One, again, is you were willing to walk away. It didn't come in because again, the appraisal would have been the lender and the option would have been you had to add another 40 grand to get there, right? Yep whether you want to or not, yep. but yeah, uh, there are lots of twists and turns. We, we kind of make this look easy buying stuff for us is old hat at this point, but there's lots of twists and turns, even in what we do. So congratulations. I'm glad you've got a building. There's a couple of buildings in my market that like, if that ever comes on, yes, I'm going to get that damn thing. <clears throat> yes. So yeah, I know exactly how that feels. So yep. con- that congratulations. Is those, it, it's got this beautiful view. I'll send you a picture. It's got a beautiful view because we just closed yesterday. Yeah. So oh, I, I, I want a picture with this in front of it. Wait until you see the view that I get you with that, with that card. It is, it is awesome. So Mike, I'm so appreciative of being able to work with you, do this a couple of times a week with you. I'm, uh, I enjoy the Facebook group. Yeah. I've enjoyed the course. I've learned something from yeah. working with you. 
It's been a blast. I would encourage everybody, make an investment in yourself. Make an investment in yourself. Start spending your time on things that can you give you a return on your invested time because time is the most precious thing that you have. Mm-hmm. Stop using that time to do things that don't give you a return on your investment. Yeah, do me a favor. Stop watching videos that make you scared. Scared is not a good mental. I mean, even if you don't want to buy rentals, I don't, that's fine. You be you, but stop watching things that scare you. That's not a good place to be. There's, there's plenty of things that are out there that are bad. We don't need to watch videos that scare us. Just stop it. It's, there, and the fact that we watch scary videos and sense more scary videos, because if you guys don't know this, those people do them on purpose because every time you click, they make a penny. Mm-hmm. You are paying somebody a penny to scare you. Think about that. <laughs> yes. A freaking penny to scare you. That's what you're doing by clicking on those thumbnails and clickbait titles. Stop clicking on clickbait. You are paying somebody a penny to do clickbait. It's terrible. Invest in yourself. Invest in your future. Get Watch things that give you hope. Watch yes. things that get you motivated. Watch things that are skills that you can learn. The we would be such a better society. We'd be such so much of a better society if people invested their time only in things that mattered and that could positively impact their lives. So Mike, how can everybody find you good, sir? Cause this is exciting news. Yeah. It's 500. It's awesome. You gotta be so, a part of the next one, right? Yeah, exactly. We're not done. Nope. We got a whole bunch of more cards to give away. So again, be, be part of the next 500. Uh, just look up one rental at a time. You should see YouTube books, a uh, website alike. It is. So as I've said, it's been a thrill to be a part of your channel for the last year. It's been awesome to be part of the 500 person challenge, the 500 challenge, because I didn't think we were going to get there. (laughs) I did not either. 500 in a year. Oh my Lord. That's That's crazy. So super excited that you got there. Congratulations on dreaming big and doing the work daily to make sure that people were given the chance to be a part of this. I'm really appreciative. It's been a great time. So Mike, thanks so much. As I always say, we spent a ton of time creating great content for you guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button and uh, yeah, check us out uh, over this weekend. Mike will be doing his live stream tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific right here on YouTube. So Mike, thanks so much for the time and we'll talk again soon. You got it. Take care.